So we're doing the same thing as last time, right? Yes. I hope for everyone's cooperation. Come on! Someone betray us! <laughs> Jack, son, we're finally all on the same page. Don't say things that are going to cause confusion. You too, Kaori-san. You shouldn't say things like that when there's no way that people will be listening to him. Our biggest fear right now is wondering if someone else won't be doing everything according to plan. Ugh, you're right. I'm sorry. So then, everyone. We all need to vote for Kashisawa-san again, right? Kana, how are things going on your end? Hey, don't ask things like that when we're around everyone else. Let's see. If I have two or three more hours, I think I can get it done. That's pretty fast, but that means we still have three more nominations to go. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough time. A normal person wouldn't be able to do this. It was a good thing I was here. Don't say that yourself. If only I had at least one extra armband, then I'd be able to do a more thorough examination. D -d don't say that. The only way to get an armband is if... I know that. I'm not thinking of doing anything strange, so don't worry about it. Hey, it's not like I'm suspecting you or anything, but... It's time. Okay, everyone. To the nomination booths. <sighs> Is everyone here? Noboru! W where Where's Jack? Jack was definitely trapped in his nomination booth. The email message is from Mailer Demon. The subject line is, I will announce the next victim. And in the body, the next victim is, what's written there is Jack's name. Execution method, slice mixer. <laughs> it's me, huh? A little too early? Hold on, we'll save you. Save me? <laughs> Go ahead if you can! Leave it to me. Kana, what are you gonna do? A thermic bomb. I had a feeling something like this might happen, so I made it out of what I had. A bomb? You... It's really dangerous, so everyone back away. If it's dangerous, then you're... Hurry it up. If someone gets burnt, I'll get disqualified for violence. Th that's right. Hey, everyone, back away! Here we go! Yeah. Oh, how pretty! Don't look into it. You'll mess up your eyes. Is this going to be okay? It's fine. It's slitting out enough heat to melt iron, that's all. Is that really okay? N no way! W why? Why doesn't it melt even at that kind of heat? Everyone, let's go and attack the door! Wait, no! With that bomb just now, the door should be at a temperature of some thousand degrees. You touch that, you'll get major burns, and... If it won't even melt like that, I don't think there's anything further we can do. No, there's still a way. Sumeragi-san, please shoot it. <laughs> Maybe it's gotten a little softer from the temperature. Okay. It looks like the bullet was the one that got softer. <sighs> so it's really impossible. <laughs> What's wrong? Hurry up and save me! Damn it! Why don't you try harder yourself? <laughs> what are you saying now? I checked in the very beginning to see if there was any way to get out of here, but it was impossible. If you give up now, it's the end! It won't end. It'll begin. The best game ever! <laughs> that guy is messed up! Strange. It's completely different from Nishinoshi's time. Huh? Nishinoshi's execution happened almost immediately. 
That's why we didn't even think about having him try anything on his end. But... Oh, you're right. Jack isn't caught. Is it because his execution method is different? I believe this time it was... Oh, it's starting! It's starting! And then... Hey, whoa there! This is... like one of those food processors. So this is what... Slice Mixer meant. No, no. It's dangerous. It's dangerous, Kekun. Kasumi, don't look. Sakashi, isn't it better to take her somewhere else? You're right. Kasumi, let's go over there. <laughs> Where are you going, girl? <sighs> Jack! Come on and watch my death! The least he can do is stay and let me show a cute girl like you how I die, right? Well... Don't want away. Of course, the ones who nominated me, but the ones who didn't also have a hand in this too, you know. That's what majority means. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Kasumi, don't listen. Let's go. Kakun, but I. Okay, you all. Watch carefully. This is a person's death. The supreme decision that you all choose. What? There's no need to feel badly. I was already on death row! Either way, I would have had to die for the sake of you people's peace! Jackson, that's... Shut up! Let me talk! <sighs> okay, it's gonna start. The true act of the killing game starts now! Too bad that I can't stick around to see the rest of it. <laughs> see y'all! Watch very closely! And that was the last that we could hear of his words. Jack Slade got caught on the propeller. No one spoke. At this sort of time. The Jack that would have made unnecessarily morbid comments was no longer here. It wasn't that he was just gone. He was chopped into pieces in front of our very eyes by some fucked up machine called Slice Mixer. <laughs> Mikami, are you alright? <laughs> Sorry, she's fine. However I look at her, she's not doing fine. No, no one here is doing fine. Don't push her too hard. Yes, thank you. Ugh. Why are you letting out a sigh? Sorry, I just don't feel so well. Oh, really? Yes. Even the two who are bickering with each other up till not long ago went quiet. I don't know what to do either. One person died, like in the first turn. Since the original intent of the game was to call for at least two to die per turn, Kashizawa's plan was working. It's not a horrible pattern. I knew that, yet I didn't know what it meant for a person to die. Everyone's probably wondering if they're gonna be next. I doubt anyone believes that the killing will end anymore. Who will die next? Who to choose to die next? Kashizawa might not even be protected in the next turn. If the police officer gets frightened and saves himself, then everything is over. Or if Jack had been the police officer, no, that wouldn't have happened. If that was the case, he would have protected himself. I... allowed someone to die again. I understand that you must be in shock, but don't blame yourself so harshly. I know it's not going to be of any comfort, but he was already on death row. So... So... you kill him? It's okay to kill him because he's killed other people? I... don't know. 
I know that Jack was a bad person, but I don't know if the person who kills Jack is just. Yes, that's right. Whoever killed Jack, she is also wicked. But aren't you supposed to be a righteous police officer? If that's the case, do you think you should be moping around like this here? That's true. Yes, that's right. I will definitely find out who's doing all of this and arrest them. That's more like it. Noguru-san? Huh? Um... Kana-san? Eh? I noticed she wasn't around, so... Is she maybe in the restroom? Oh... Yeah, probably. She's probably in the machine room again. Um... Sh should we look for her? No, it's fine. I'll go look alone. Huh? But isn't that dangerous? I can find Kana easily, so it'll be fine. Um... Are you sure you'll be okay? There's no problem. Everyone other than Kana looks like they're here anyway. No... I mean... Maybe Kana-san... No... Never mind. Huh? Anyway, please be careful. If anything happens, please yell. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks. You... Didn't I tell you not to wander off alone? Did you? Well, who cares about that? It's dangerous. What are you gonna do if something happens? You should come rescue me. I'm saying that you need to at least give me a heads up for that. No worries. You'll come and rescue me just fine. And if we make any mistakes, other people might find out and make a big fuss, right? Well, that's true, but... We're in a bad situation. It's been made obvious that there are people other than Jack who want to kill. Yeah, I wonder if it's really the serial killers. Nishino-san and Jack weren't well-liked, so it's not impossible that it was from a townspeople majority vote. But, if that's the case, there are too many things we can't explain. Like the turn that no one died, or the fact that only one person dies each time. Like, if all the serial killers are nominating Kashizawa, and the rest of the townspeople were voting others. And you're saying they're all banding together? The probability isn't zero, but it doesn't seem very realistic. The most logical conclusion is that Nishino-san and Jack were both killed by the serial killers. Well, that would be the most natural explanation. Well, that's fine. Either way, the one fact is... There are over two people who are nominating with intent to kill. Yeah, but didn't you say that last time, when Nishino-san died? Yeah, you're right. And let me rephrase it. There are over two people who are actually participating in this game, and those are serial killers. The only issue is the existence of the turn that no one died. What do you mean? Think a little on your own. Huh? Wait a second. The turn that no one was killed. In other words, when both townspeople and serial killers all nominated Kashizawa, if there are people who want to kill others, then they would have nominated someone other than Kashizawa. Oh, right. If the majority of townspeople were the deciding factor, then someone other than Kashizawa should have been picked. Yes. Since that didn't happen, at the very least, the majority of the townspeople are nominating Kashizawa-kun. And if a serial killer was trying to kill someone? At that time, if they all had scattered nominations, as long as one of them nominated Kashizawa, and that person had priority. The ones who are killing people are two serial killers. The remaining serial killer and the townspeople can be seen as following Kashizawa-kun's plan. W wait Then are you saying that those two people are both X? Well, that's possible, but what I'm thinking is that X is a serial killer who's been sent to infiltrate the game and make sure it keeps running smoothly. Since otherwise, there are methods like Kashizawa-kun's that prevent anyone from dying. But even in rumors, X seems to be a person, not people. So I assume that X is one person. So that one other person? Maybe they think they can't stay alive unless they win. Either way, they seem to be just purely trying to kill. But considering that diary, that seems to be normal, right? As long as there's no one like Hashizawa-kun who could give commands, the only other reason would be... Considering who's been killed so far, 
it might just be to protect themselves. Or maybe they have a personality like Jax, or there's actually two exes. But if they aren't X, the biggest difference will be that we still have a chance to change their minds. To change their minds? If we can do that, then Kashizawa's plan will work a lot better. That's saying, if all the serial killers existed... What do you mean? If Nishino-san or Jack were serial killers... Um, let me make this a little simpler. The person who's killing people is Y. The one who's contributing to Kashizawa-kun's plan is Z. And X stays the same. There's no way that Jack could have been Z. As a term without anyone dying came after Nishino-san's death, we can assume that Z is still alive. If Nishino-san or Jack happen to be serial killers, that would mean that X or Y is already gone. That would leave either Z and Y or Z and X. If it's Z and Y, then we just need to convince Y. But if it was Z or X... That would mean that every two turns, X has a priority for murder. Yeah. On the other hand, if all three existed, we wouldn't need to worry about anything except for convincing Y. Hey, is there any chance that Jack and Nishino-san were X and Y? Then all that's left would be Z. Not a chance. Well, that was blunt. Like you said before, the people trying to kill are the serial killers. If you think of it that way, then since Nishino-san didn't exist, there would be no reason to kill Jack. Because then that would mean that Z nominated Kashizawa, Jack nominated someone else, the townspeople majority went to Kashizawa, and there's no Nishino-san. There's no reason that Jack would be picked. That's true. There's a possibility that one of the two were serial killers, but not both. In other words, a dangerous serial killer still remains. No, but if Jack was the one who killed Nishino-san, and either Z or the townspeople killed Jack, then wouldn't it be possible that both were serial killers? Why are you trying to make things more complicated? The townspeople in Z should be unwilling to kill people. Even though no one died in the turn before, you can't expect them to suddenly decide to do something different. In other words, the one who killed Jack is either X or Y. So if Nishida-san happened to be X or Y, the possibility of Jack being X or Y is extremely low. As long as it wasn't a suicide. In other words, at least one of either X or Y is still alive. I'm thinking they're both alive. That's the biggest possibility after all. And that will mean that in the next turn, the priority will go to the X or Y who killed Nishino-san. You don't think that Nishino-san could have been killed by the townspeople? You know, in the beginning, we couldn't believe that anyone would die or anything, and he was hated. So you're saying that instead of Y existing, we have two Zs? Unfortunately, that's not possible. I'll say this again, but at least two serial killers. Let's say if Y and Z both contributed to Kashizawa-kun's plan, then X can't commit murder alone. But Jack died. Therefore, that's the proof of the existence of Y, right? That's right. <sighs> How complicated. You're just making it complicated. You're not splitting the problem up enough, so you keep tossing the same ideas over and over. Conclusion. There are three patterns of serial killers. The frightening existence of the infiltrating murderous killer X. Killing for reasons unknown, Y. The one who's on Kashizawa-kun's plan, Z. If we could find the Y in this situation and convince them, then we might not have any more murders. But even if it is an extremely small chance, X or Y may be dead. That is all. So we have to find Y and convince them. And we should also make sure to do the same to the others. Everyone's probably rattled already. If the townspeople decide to go against that plan, who knows how many people could die in the next turn. Okay, so I just need you to go talk to the others and see if I can make sure they're on board and gather information, right? Yeah. Can I leave it to you? Hey, Noboru? Hmm? If we can get home safe, wanna go on a date? Huh? W what are you saying? No real reason, just asking. I kind of feel like celebrating a bit. Well, sure. If we can get home safe, huh? That's like a story flag for not making it out alive. That's not even a good joke, so I'm not saying it aloud. Well, now that that's settled, we definitely need to get out of here safely. You're right. Okay. I'm off. Sure. Good luck. I'll keep this moving, too. Oh, no problem! Yeah. Ika? Yuyu-chan, were you watching that? Huh? 
What? Did something happen? Um, I mean, where'd I come here from? Where? Maybe from the break room? Because that door over there doesn't open. Yes, she didn't see me. By the way, Yu Yu-chan, are you wandering around alone? That's dangerous. Yu Yu was looking for Noburo-san. Me? Yeah, and so I went to go check the bathroom. And when I came back, you were saying, Ika! Uh, um, could it be I'm being seen as some weirdo? So, uh, did you need something from me? Oh, um, well... <laughs> no, Buru-san, are you getting hungry? Well, yeah. Then you you has something great for you. Here you go. It's thanks for the flower. It's handmade. I happen to have it with me. You have food? Then we should split amongst everyone and... No, no! You use handmade cookies are only for special people to eat. This isn't the time to be saying something like that. No, Boru-san. You don't want you use cookies? No, I want them. But there's gotta be other people who need them more than me, right? You you wants no Boru-san to eat them. So... Please take them. Alright, I'll take them. Thanks. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar and it's super sweet and yummy. R really? I'm looking forward to them. But I'm not really fond of super sweet food. Come to think of it, Noboru-san. Where were you? Yuyu was looking for you for a while. Oh, uh, well, uh, the bathroom. But when Yuyu went to check the bathroom, no one was there. Shoot, she already mentioned that she checked the bathroom too. I thought she wouldn't have bothered to venture in, but I hadn't taken into account her laid-back personality and lack of common sense. Um, well, you know, about that. Oh, I see. Noboru-san was using the women's restroom. What? No. Yuyu knows that Noboru-san is a guy, so only check the men's restroom. No wonder I couldn't find you. N no, I... Y yeah, I was in the woman's restroom. It'd be a waste of time to try and explain, so I decided to let it go. I see. But you know, Noboru-san, men are supposed to use the men's restroom, right? Yeah, I know. Is that right? I'll be more careful next time. And that's how I became a pervert. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Noburu-san, you're going to go exploring again? Huh? Exploring? You're always exploring, aren't you? Can you, you go with you? Exploring, huh? Well, it's true that I wander around a lot, so I guess that's what it looks like to the others. May I? 